am on a huge love gun kick. My friend Dan and I began talking, and he made a comment that I will relay, bestow to you here in a bit. However, first I just wanted to touch base and explain a little bit of my love for this record. Without even really knowing it, the Love Gun record had a lot to do with my early falling in love with Kiss. And pretty much that had a lot to do with Exposed. My friend Dan and I would watch Exposed a lot when he was first introducing me to the band. And I Stole Your Love is featured in that film. Fast forward a little bit to when I first went to my very first Kiss show, the Hot in the Shade tour, the band opened with the song, I Stole Your Love. This was one of the first cassette tapes I ever bought of the band's catalog. And so my early falling in love with the band was really centered around this record. Secondly, it's the artwork. This, even if I wasn't a Kiss fan, I think I would consider this artwork to be one of my favorite album covers of all time. And as I look around my room, this artwork is in a lot of spots. Got the old Love Gun jigsaw puzzle. Got the boys displayed on the On Tour game. It even made it to the mantelpiece of the fireplace as my buddy Todd got this autographed by Ken Kelly to our basement crew, our Wax Night crew. That's just awesome. And lastly, I'm not really into buying new merchandise, but when McFarlane released this Love Gun box set of action figures depicting the album cover, I had to buy it. And one key component as to why is it comes with the Love Gun ladies. That is awesome. And the Love Gun ladies are really what sell this album cover for me. It's all about rock star machismo, right? And basically, these ladies are kneeling at the altar of Kiss. Ken Kelly actually modeled his wife, Rose, as the inspiration for the Love Gun ladies. Hello, Mrs. Kelly. Now, I do not know if this exists, so if it does, I apologize. But I've always thought it would be super cool if there was an all-girl tribute band to Kiss that would dress like this and only perform songs from this record. That is a million-dollar idea. And lastly... My whole point to this entire video, my friend Dan called me and said, Hey, when you listen to Tomorrow and Tonight during the choruses with the female vocals, do you picture it being sung by the ladies on the cover? And with that, boom, you will never listen to Tomorrow and Tonight the same again. Thank you for hanging with me. Take care, be safe, and I will talk to you soon.